Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl and Superman Lois. So, today we're going to be talking about a new article that came out via comicbook.com, and it's actually an interview with Tyler Hoechlin, and there are some specific quotes that pull out his interest in crossing over with Supergirl and Supergirl's characters. So, obviously, we're going to cover it in this video. Also going to talk a bit about some of the Supergirl retcons. I've talked about them mainly in my live streams and over on Eric's channel in the after party. But I just wanted to include it in the back half of this video to quickly go over my current thoughts about some of the changes that Superman Lois has made with Supergirl's past actions. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. But first things first, we're going to be going over this comicbook.com article in regards to Superman Lois's Tyler Hoechlin wanting a Supergirl crossover. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below to the article. I really like the writer, he's a really cool guy, and we're going to be reading his article. So this is how it goes. Superman Lois star Tyler Hoechlin wants to reunite with his on-screen cousin and her supporting cast, almost as much as fans want it. Hoechlin told comic book during an interview last week that hopefully will be that lucky, that's a quote from him, to get members of the Supergirl cast to come to Smallville and bring the Arrowverse crossover energy that fans are craving, which is entirely true and we'll talk about this in a minute. The series so far has tied in with Arrow's John Diggle and in tomorrow's episode, well obviously that was last week, Jenna Darwin will return to reprise her role as Lucy Lane, Lois's sister, that part like Hoechlin Superman originated on Supergirl, but as you guys know, obviously it isn't the same version of Lucy Lane, which we'll address later in this video. So they go on to say, saying they're just great people, Hoechlin said that he would love to get the Supergirl cast on Superman Lois, or failing that, at least grab a coffee with them. I'm such great friends with all those people, we obviously, especially with COVID these last two years, have not been able to see each other as much as we'd like to, but they're just such great people. Having them around in any capacity is always great, so if we find a way to make that work, that would be awesome. It's just a treat to be able to share the stage with them, or share a coffee with them, it's all the same to me. We really have a great time together, so hopefully we will be that lucky. And so as I've said before, and as you guys have to remember, Tyler actually first started out his role of Superman in Supergirl Season 2. Like, the first episode when Supergirl was on the CW, that's when Tyler first appeared as Superman. So, he originally started with Supergirl's cast, and he came back in Season 3. I think he came back a couple more times, and then obviously he appeared later in some of the crossovers, at least two big crossovers, as Superman, and we got the introduction of Lois Lane in one of those crossovers as well. So when you think of it, it actually makes complete sense that we would have crossovers with them because they literally originated from other shows. Like Lois, I think, first appeared on The Flash, and obviously Superman appeared on Supergirl first, and because their origins are outside of that, at one point they're going to have to reference them or have crossovers. Obviously the one crossover we've had so far on Superman Lois has been John Diggle, so David Ramsey showing up, and he's actually directing one of the episodes very soon, so be on the lookout for that. But that's very exciting, and I just love that Tyler is so open to this, and he's saying it, like, he's putting out there an interview that he wants this to happen, and by having people be so vocal, obviously someone as big as Tyler, like, he's the lead of the show along with Bitsy Tullock, so having them say, oh, we want, you know, the Supergirl cast to return in a crossover, Surely the showrunners are going to have to listen at some point and they're going to be like, yeah, let's write this thing. Let's try and get Kyla Lee back. Let's try and get Nicole Maines and even Melissa at some point surely is going to be reached out to. And so as the article said earlier, fans are craving the Arrowverse crossover energy of the Supergirl cast coming to Smallville. Seeing those characters in Superman Lois is going to be like a whole new thing. Because when you look at Superman Lois, Yes, it's set in the Arrowverse, but really it set a new standard for the Arrowverse. Like, just thinking like cinematography wise and filmmaking wise, it looks so different from like how Supergirl looked or any of the other shows. The CGI is so good. Imagine if you had our characters showing up there, they would look so cool. Like, it would be awesome. So, 
that is just one thing. But then also just having the crossover and having like a special Supergirl event post Supergirl ending because obviously Supergirl isn't a thing anymore, it's a thing of the past. So having them appear in like maybe a two episode Supergirl crossover, that could be a huge deal. Like they would get all the Supergirl fans coming back, watching Superman and Lois. That crossover would be the thing that I would be dying for. And so hopefully, like Tyler says, we'll be that lucky that this will happen at some point. And a while ago, Bitsy Turlock actually put it out there that she wants the Supergirl cast to come, especially Melissa and Azzy and all of her friends. Because you have to remember, these guys were friends, right? Like, obviously they grew bonds as they worked on these shows together. And yes, Bitsy wasn't there as much as Tyler, so obviously Tyler has a very strong bond. They all work very close and they live near each other because they're all basically set in Vancouver. Although the Superman Lois set, like they have a full on like Smallville set, like that whole street area is in a very different part of Vancouver. It's out of Vancouver apparently, but it's likely that they live in Vancouver. They probably do live in the city and knowing these people are from like America and other places they probably don't have like that many close friends there and so they grow their friends as they live in this foreign place with the cast of these other shows because you know they have that kind of connection where they're from somewhere else and you know they're actors and they're shooting like they can talk about all this stuff that's why you get so many of the actors from like different shows who are like really good friends. Like you see Candace Patton going around doing like all these videos with the other cast members from other shows. So they do form those bonds and you know in the case of Bitsy it seems like she's formed those bonds along with Tyler Hoechlin. And so I'm really all in for this and I really do hope it happens. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Would you want a crossover? So now let's talk about what I want to talk about. So Superman and Lois changing everything that has happened on Supergirl. So in the past, well in season one of Supergirl, we had a couple of retcons and those retcons were more minor than what we got last week's episode. So we had General Lane who was recast and his character was kind of changed. The one in Supergirl was very much so hating on aliens and just like overall like less pleasant to be around. This version of General Lane is actually like a really cool character like I like having him on the show like I didn't like him on Supergirl he was very annoying. But another big character that we had retcon was Morgan Edge so they reintroduced this new version of Morgan Edge who Yes, in the end, didn't turn out to be Morgan Edge, so maybe he like took over the old Morgan Edge. That could have been a thing, but he turned out to be Superman's brother from Krypton, his name being Tauro. So those were two big changes, and obviously I think they were changes for the better. However, there was one change recently, and that is Supergirl's Lucy Lane, played by Jenna Darwin, who appeared in season one, was a regular character on the show, and she was completely different and this week we just saw how different she was and so there was an interesting screen rant article that basically touched on my thoughts literally as i was saying in my live stream earlier this week like i have strong opinions about this superman lois retcon specifically because i really liked lucy on supergo and obviously i have that strong connection because i really do like supergo and i like what they did with lucy in the past and, you know, the fact that they kind of ignore James and, like, James is supposed to be Superman's best friend. There are some things that are kind of weird why they would kind of retcon all of that because there is strong connections. And it's weird that, like, Superman hasn't reached out to James when supposedly James is, like, his best friend. But in this Screen Rant article, they talk about how, you know, Jenna Darwin played a dramatically different version of Lucy Lane in Superman Lois Season 2 episode titled The Inverse Method, which was earlier this week. And so the episode opened with a flashback to five years earlier where Lucy was packing up her belongings and preparing to leave Clark and Lois's home, which obviously didn't happen in Supergirl. So this immediately conflicts with the Arabverse timeline established by Supergirl, because at this point, this should have been where James and Lucy were engaged because that was a big thing in season one of Supergirl and they break off their engagement and she had pretty much unlimited career prospects 
given her military service and her experience as a lawyer who graduated from Harvard with big ass degrees. So she was like really successful and a really like cool badass character and you know she seemed to have this confidence that was just like exuding off of her and this new version of Lucy Lane on Supergirl is the complete opposite. She lacks all confidence and you know any kind of strength and obviously this is due to the story that they're going for. They want to establish this kind of drama between Lois and Lucy because of what happened in their past and this is all because of the manipulations of Ali. And so we met the cult leader just earlier this week and so basically it set up this whole storyline where Lucy is kind of a victim to Ali and that's why they have that weird relationship between the two sisters. This week on the episode there was you know the big confrontation as they finally met up after like five years and after Lois released that big article which basically changed Lucy's life because you know she was fully into Ali's ideas and that was kind of leading her down a path but obviously Lois didn't like that path she was going down so she released that article and since then Lucy has had this hatred for Lois because she took away Ali from her life by exposing Ali's kind of cult but obviously she's back to it now and Lucy's back with her and things are really heating up with the inverse method storyline over on Superman Lois and this is going to continue for quite a few episodes like I reckon most of the season this is going to continue onwards because I think Ali is Lois's villain for the season just like how Bizarro is Superman's villain for the season so we're going to continue with this storyline and I'm glad that they explained some stuff this week, but I honestly do think it is a mistake and I agree with Screen Rant's article that they've gone with this new version of Lucy Lane. I think they should have just like introduced another character and maybe it doesn't have to be like a relative, but if you're re-establishing an already big character, like I think she was a regular in season one. She appeared in so many episodes. People are naturally going to take issue with it and especially Supergirl fans like myself. And I think the biggest thing for me is I don't mind if they retcon a few characters like, you know, Morgan Edge or like General Lane because I think they did a good job of it because it didn't feel forced because those characters weren't huge deals. Just I think the comparison we have to make for people who don't understand my kind of uh, anger for it or my hatred I guess you could call it but I don't think it's that far is imagine you're watching Arrow season one right and you have someone like Tommy Merlin who is like a regular he appears in most episodes like Lucy Lane did in Supergirl season one imagine if they bring him on to the new John Diggle show Justice You but they completely wreck on him they do a complete 180 on everything that made Tommy Merlin Tommy Merlin and they make him you know like a drug addict and you know he's been in prison all this time and maybe he knew Oliver but they had a different relationship that is literally what they've done to this character. They've done a complete 180 on Lucy Lane from her past appearances. And so that's just my comparison to make. Like, imagine if they did that, you know, Cisco, five years down the line in the Arrowverse Returns, but he's a completely different character. It just doesn't suit well. Like, it doesn't feel right. It feels actually forced. That's my biggest problem because I know this past version of Lucy was different. And this story is so dramatic that you know they've been like, okay, what character could we use to create this story for Lois? Ah, oh, let's use Lucy and let's completely change her because we need that connection, that sibling connection to heighten the drama. And it's all for the sake of drama. And so that's why it feels a bit forced. Now, I don't know if you guys agree with me. I know that I may be in the minority here, but... I'm glad that like Screen Rant put out an article about this which I'll leave in the description below because it's good to see that I'm not alone because I do have strong opinions as a Supergirl fan and I'm sure some of you guys as Supergirl fans have strong opinions too but if you're not a Supergirl fan I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world but if you watch Supergirl season 1 you may think it is weird what they are doing in Superman Lois season 2 especially with Lucy. So. That's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, 
and subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any future videos and tell me in the comments what do you think about a Supergirl and Superman Lois crossover do you think it's about time would you like like a two episode crossover that would be ideal in my opinion and it should happen sometime soon probably towards the end of season two or I would guess it would be season three because they've shot a fair amount of the episodes so far already and maybe it's too late to plan that if they haven't planned it already but for now click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.